tech tip today is going to show you how to create a helix on a non-standard surface, like in this case a squashed cone, if you will. <laughs> uh, it is a lofted uh, feature. What you're going to need before we can create these threads is a plane that is below the, the bottom of the feature, like you can see here. This is, happens to be 25 millimeters below the bottom of the lofted feature. and the idea is to create a swept surface that's going to represent the threads. And I'm going to show that surface that I created ahead of time. As you can see, it looks like a helical surface. That is what it is for all intents and purposes. But it's easier to create this than you might think. Uh, for the profile of this uh, swept surface, I created a line. We'll hide that for the time being. Uh, so there's the line that I generated. Uh, the profile, or I should say the path sketch, is 250 millimeters long. It extends 25 millimeters below the loft and 25 millimeters above. And you'll see why that is for a moment, uh, in a moment. Uh, the resultant sweep looks like that. So again, actually very easy to create. And the reason why it's so easy is because it is just a standard sweep with our profile and our path. And we are instilling twist during the sweep process. So just make sure that instead of follow path, you pick twist along path. And I want a total of 10 turns in this particular case. So it's going to be representative of a pitch of about 25 millimeters. Now we need one other surface before we can create what amounts to the curve that will be our, uh, our path for our final sweep in order to create the threads. And to do that, we create a simple offset surface. Let me hide the sweep for a moment and show you the offset. I'll also hide the original loft body. All we're doing here is taking uh, the outer skin, if you will, of the original lofted feature and creating an offset of zero millimeters. And you can do that using the offset surface command. Once that was done, I also extended it using the extend surface command, a total of 25 millimeters. And the reason for that is because the resultant uh, intersection curve between this surface and the uh, swept surface is going to result in the curve that we want. Uh, and it needs to start below where the original lofted feature was and end above it. So let me hide these two surfaces. The way we got the 3D sketch that I'm showing you now, let's just bring the loft back, uh, is we used an intersection curve command. And that can be found under Tools, Sketch Tools, Intersection Curve. Another very easy command to implement because all we're doing in order to create this curve is picking the two surface bodies that were created ahead of time. The surface sweep and the uh, offset surface that was then extended. That gave us our 3D sketch. From this point we can create a plane at the end of this path. Uh, to do that, here's another shortcut for you if you, if you will, a uh, tip within a tip. So click near the start of that path, start a brand new sketch, and I'm going to create a center point rectangle right down here. Uh, that created a plane for me, just the act of starting a sketch with that curve selected. That's the shortcut I was talking about. So we'll make this, uh, let's say, a total of 10, 10 high, 20 wide. Close out of that sketch. All that's left at this point is to create our swept cut, which is in our standard features tab. There's our profile on our path. We'll accept that, hide the plane, and there are our uh, custom threads on an atypical lofted feature. I hope you've enjoyed this tech tip. Uh, there's plenty more where this came from at caddimensions.com. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.